Hey, I'm Aesthetically Jazz, and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to do resin coasters four ways. So we've got this beautiful sort of abstract floral. This one as well, which just has the glitter in the middle. It's also really pretty on that side. This one that has more of that like dragged in look. I think this is my favorite. Ooh, or this one. And then the split one, which are so pretty. So pretty. I feel like this would be a pretty bowl as well. But yeah, let's get into it. For the coasters today, you're going to need the molds, some glitter, pigments, popsicle sticks, mixing bowls, and of course, resin. So I am just prepping that one because I need to take out all the bubbles. And then I use a heat gun, but you want to be very careful with the heat gun just because if you heat it up too much, um, A, you'll burn your resin, and B, you will ruin your mold. I have done that. <laughs> Next, I will be taking a white shimmer. So I'm going to mix that into my resin, and then I'm also going to use baby pink. I'm going for kind of like a pretty girly pink shimmery gold sort of look. Um, and these are all going to be different because I want to show you the different designs that you can do. But I think they can definitely still be sold as a set. Or you can pick your favorite and make a set of four. So with pigments, you really want to make sure that you mix them in. If there is a pocket of the powder, when you use that heat, it will pop up to the surface and it's going to leave some flaws in your finished product. So for the first coaster, we're just gonna go around the outside in our color. So I used pink, you can do whatever color you want. And then from there, you're gonna take that shimmery. And now this, it could be any color you want, but it's gotta be a shimmer, cause that's what's going to sort of pull the pigment to the center, which is the look we're going for. So we're just gonna put that around right next to it. All right, and now we're gonna take some clear resin and we're gonna pour it right into that center and it's going to push the shimmery pigment out to the colored pigment. And I reuse my stuff a million times, so I have a little bit of leftover dried resin in that, but I'm just gonna take that out. And now we're gonna use the heat gun again. And you can already see like the magic happening. I find this so satisfying. And then you can add glitter to the center. I <laughs> I made a mistake, but that's okay. We're going to just pull it out, clean it up. This is definitely a very beginner friendly tutorial. So next, I'm going to use a syringe. You don't need to use a syringe. Um, I just found for the video's sake, it was hard to show you what I was doing if I was using a cup, but you can definitely use a cup for this. So I've already poured the clear resin, and now I'm just gonna make a floral design. And you can leave it with just the pink. Um, I do end up adding a little bit of the shimmer as well, just in the same design, which you will see in a minute. And I actually almost wish I had stopped and not done the shimmer. I wish I had just done the pink um, because it ends up being quite an abstract looking floral. So from there, I'm gonna take a stick and I'm going to just sort of drag those petals in. Again, this step's not necessary and I kind of wish I hadn't done it. Wipe your stick off each time. And then I'm just taking what's left of the pink and the shimmer and I'm gonna mix them together. So I want a little bit more of an ombre look for this coaster. And we're just doing what we did with the first coaster. Um, there's a little bit less just because I'm using leftover pigment um, as well. I'm not sure if I said this at the beginning, but I just mixed up eight ounces. Um, I probably would suggest, especially if it's your first time, do 10 ounces just so you have a little bit extra to work with. Now I'm gonna go in with a white shimmer and we're pretty much doing exactly what we did with that very first coaster. But I did it all the way to the center. 
And then I decided that I wanted a more, like, a stronger looking pink. Just around, because you're going to see what we do next. So still the same pink, just I used a little bit more. Now we're going to drag it into the center. And this is going to create sort of a petal look. But ultimately what it does is it gives you almost like a marbly effect at the end once they're cured, which you'll see or you saw in the beginning. And then I'm just going to, I actually regretted doing this as well. <laughs> I'm going to, uh, I swirl in the middle. So you'll see that in a second. You can already see the other um, coasters, the pigments starting to move to the center. So I don't know what it is about the reaction with the silicone and the resin, but it, it gives such a cool effect. Okay, so this is our split coaster. So you're just going to fill one side with the colored pigment. And then you're gonna take, I just took what was left of the shimmer. This step's not necessary. Um, but I think, I do think it adds to it and it gives like a cohesive look amongst the four of them if you do plan to do all four different coasters. And then you're gonna use some clear resin and it's gonna do that sort of like push pull thing. Sorry, I have paint on my arm. I'm an artist. There is always paint somewhere on my body. And now we can decide where we want to add glitter. So I decided I was going to add a little bit of glitter to each of them. Um, so I did the center of that top one there. This one I overdid it, but that's fine. We mixed it in. It worked out. And I'm just using an old mixing stick. And I put a little bit in there, <laughs> which I ended up at the end deciding I liked the other side of that coaster better, so you can't really even see the glitter. Um, now we're just gonna heat all the bubbles away because we want these to be clear, crystal clear. And then I decided I wanted to kind of define those petals a little bit more. These floral ones are pretty popular. And then there are four, we're gonna let them cure. This is the next day. They're a little bit pliable still. I love this one. You know what, they all, they're all so pretty in their own way. This one, <laughs> a little messy, but you know what? Look at how pretty that side is. If you were to use like more of a opaque white paste, I think you would get such a cool effect with that. There's that one. Kind of looks like a slice of ham, but I'm into it. And then the split one, which this is my first time doing the split one. I love them, and I think I want to do a few sets to sell this year um, if I do a market. Super pretty. Um, and now you have the option to leave them as is, or you can use this gold marker, which is Craft Smart. It's a multi surface premium oil based paint pen, and the oil based. Is important and we're just going to do the edges it looks really pretty when you have like like see how it's clear on the outside because you can kind of see the gold from both sides um, and it's just very like feminine and elegant and pretty and I just I love it I think it definitely kind of ties everything together but it's all preference so I will have everything linked in the description bar, um, the coaster, molds, the pigments, etc. cetera, um, the glitter I use. I have some discount codes as well, I believe, so I will link those.